What is up everyone and welcome back to the mini cut vlog series day you know it's been completely ruined but uh yeah i will explain my disappearance uh, on the way home but first i wanted to quickly mention uh, my proteins free creatine deal happening on january 29th to 30th uh, if you haven't seen i'll leave the details on the screen um but yeah today i'm actually doing a gym vlog i'm actually going to talk with a, a full mic'd up gym session on uh, so we'll see how that goes uh, honestly who knows it could be completely terrible uh, if so i will switch the video and do a voiceover but uh, hopefully it's not going to be too too awkward but uh yeah um i guess let's just head over to the gym i've got my pre-workout as per usual uh and i wanted to talk about in this uh in this car session today i wanted to talk about genetics because i was going through uh some of my comments on my youtube and i saw someone say like oh i wish i wish i had your genetics when I first started, or I wish I had better genetics, you know, you see a lot of guys kind of complain about having poor genetics when they start, and it got me thinking, I guess a lot of people don't realize, genetics, obviously, are everything, right, genetics are, you know, the way, the way you do things, the way you think, what was that, uh, genetics are everything, right, they're more than just the way you look, and I think when it comes to the gym, a lot of people think genetics are simply, you know, the way your muscles insert on the bone, you know, whether you have broad shoulders, narrow waist, you know, all that good stuff, right? Genetics are not just the way your muscles look, they are how fast you can build muscle, you know, in relation to how your body adapts to novel stimuli in the gym, you know, whether or not you can put on muscle very quickly, how much muscle you can put on in relation to fat, you know, how lean you can stay in a bulk, how many calories you have to eat. You know, some people just have to eat a ton of calories in order to gain weight. Some people, you know, can eat a ton of calories and lose weight. You know, all of that is, is determined by genetics, obviously. Um, and, you know, where that fat is distributed on your body, whether or not you store it in your stomach, your midsection, your butt, your face, your legs, you know, all of that stuff is determined by genetics. And so when, when you look at someone who's just skinny, right, who's been eating, you know, in a calorie deficit for years, who's malnourished, you know, someone like me who started out super, super skinny, who, who's just underweight, you can't look at them and say, wow, you know, this guy's got poor genetics. Right. Oh, he's a he's an endomorph. He's an ectomorph for, you know, whatever Greg Doucette calls it. You know, you can't do that because the kid is just underweight. Right. <laughs> You've got no idea what his genetics are. You've got no idea how, how fast he can put on muscle, you know, where his fat is distributed. You've got no idea how good his genetics are because he's just underweight. He's got no muscle. You can't look at him and say, ah, oh, man, he's, you know, unfortunately, he's got bad genetics, so he's probably not going to build a good physique. You can't do that because he's, he, he hasn't stepped foot in the gym. So. I guess the point I'm trying to say here is, you know, if you if you look at a picture of yourself, you know, when you first start lifting and you're like, ah, oh, man, I wish I had better genetics or man, I wish, you know, I wish I had someone elite genetics. Number one, you just you can't tell from a picture how good someone's genetics are because they're more than just the way you look. Obviously, sure. If someone like David Laid, who before even started lifting, he's got broad shoulders, he's naturally super lean. Obviously, that, you know, is good genetics for sure. But there's more to it than just the way you look. So regardless of if you if you think you have good or bad genetics, you know, it, it is not over for you. Just, you know, everyone builds muscle the same, everyone loses fat the same, whether or not it's harder for someone or whether or not, you know, you know, we've all got that one friend who goes to the gym twice a year and who's jacked absolutely year round and we all hate him. But, you know, he builds muscle the same way we do. You know, some people just have to grind harder, but we all just gotta grind, right? Regardless of uh, if, it, if it takes you a, a long time to build muscle, you know, it is not over for you. We can all build uh, a fantastic physique completely naturally. We can all, you know, put in the work and get to where we want to be, you know, so stop worrying about things that are out of your control. Stop trying to, you know, wish or compare your, your physique to someone else because you will never look like who you want to be, right? If you look at me and you say, man, I wish I had your genetics or man, I wish I looked like you, you know, you will never, you will never look like me. You might look worse, you might look better, but you will always look different because you are not me. I am me and you are you. So don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to, ever, to, to anyone. Just try and improve who you are every day uh, and, you know, take it slowly and you will grow as a person and in your biceps. And that's, that's, I guess, the lesson for the day. So the takeaway, stop comparing yourself, stop worrying about things that are out of, out of your control and understand that genetics are more than just the way you look. And 
yeah, I guess uh, if you see someone commenting, you know, oh, you know, I had such bad genetics when I first started, or, you know, my genetics are terrible, like, you, you, you can't tell, sure, genetics obviously play a role in the, the way your muscles insert, but they're more than just the way your muscles insert, so, so it is not over for you if you think you have narrow clavicles or you've got, you know, a chest gap or something, just fucking grind like we all do, uh, and you will get there. So yeah, that is my rant for the day. Um, I guess let's go have a solid push session. I didn't even say it was a push day today. But yes, let's have a solid push day for the mic'd up gym session. I got to start sipping this pre. And hopefully, uh, we have a good workout. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. I will see you guys at the gym. So, I made it to the gym, obviously. But uh, I forgot my second phone which I listen to music with, so these headphones are literally plugged into absolutely nothing right now. Yeah, I can't listen to music throughout my workout. I can't track my lift, because I also track all my lifts on my second phone. I literally turned onto the road where the gym is, and I was like, shit, I forgot my second phone. So this is just gonna be terrible. But anyway, I guess let's just warm up. The one day where it's like, I need my second phone, I totally forget it. What would you guys do? Let's just say you forget your headphones and you can't listen to music in the gym. Would you turn around and go back and get them for your workout? I finished my pre-workout. I already took my, my sodium, potassium. I was all ready to go to the gym. You know, if I forgot something a little bit more important, like my squat shoes on like a hack squat day or something, let's say you're deadlifting and you forget your belt. I mean, you probably just have to turn around, right? But. I don't know, it kind of depends. All right, so we got four plates and a five. I think that's what I did last time. But yeah, I guess we'll just push this to failure. Probably get five reps fail on the six. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Ah, <sighs> man, I probably could have got that sixth rep if I had music. We yeah, have five reps there, failed on the sixth, plus one partial is not bad. I wonder how good this camera angle is, to be honest. The sun is like completely illuminating this entire bench. So I might, I might look pretty flushed out with the lighting. Oh my goodness, I can't even, I can't even look at the camera. Okay, I think I gotta find a different camera angle. It's actually terrible. Let's put these headphones on for no reason, just to look cool. Fell on the sixth. I think that's what I did last time. I mean, on a cut, if you can keep your movements the same, sure, you're plateauing, but on a cut, you're not gonna focus on building muscle. You just kinda wanna maintain as much as possible. Last week I did 220, but I think my form got a little sloppy. So I'm just gonna keep it at 205. I think the second set last week, I, I kept it at 205. So I'm probably just gonna do 205 for both sets. Ideally on a pec deck, you wanna keep your elbows obviously more tucked in as opposed to super flared out. But this, this pec machine, it's like, it stops here. Like, you hear that? You hear that click? Therefore, you know, you can only keep them so far tucked in before the, the machine literally just stops you. It is what it is. Just gotta make do with it.
Yeah, I think on that set, I tried my best. The last time I had recorded this exercise, I saw that I was kind of leaning forward a little bit too much, which, you know, as you roll your shoulders forward, you'll get more shoulder involvement and obviously less work from your chest. So I, I tried my best to keep my, my shoulders back, which is why I lowered the weight. So we'll get a, a side angle over here to check to make sure that I'm retracting my shoulders. Holy fuck, I gotta catch my breath. Let's at least get six, that's the plan here. Those shoulders back is a lot harder some natural you know movement of your shoulder blades forward is just natural right you don't want to keep them super pinned back because obviously your humerus works with your chest let's do some high to low flies i think there's some guys on the cable machine right now so i'm gonna have to do them over here which is fine all right we're just gonna do it here uh, on this machine which is good because it has some back support so you can actually get some leverage instead of you know the weight kind of flying you back like on a dual cable machine. I think 52.5 should be good. Probably eight to 10 reps is what I'm aiming for. Ugh. Not bad. Chest is pretty pumped, so yeah, let's head over to the cable machine. All right, I think this camera angle should be good enough. This camera angle is always kind of funky to play around with just because the, the Y raises are so high where I always think I'm like out of frame. I need to get a pair of cuffs because whenever I do the behind the back lateral raises, my grip always kind of fails me before my shoulders. But if you had cuffs, then obviously your grip is kind of removed from the equation. suck all right let's move these up i like to get it a little bit closer to hip height just so that you can start almost at like a 90 degree angle with the cable as opposed to being so far down there's a little bit more tension at the bottom range which is what i want from these behind the back laterals just because you get a lot of shorten range with the y raises holy shit i'm out of breath as a super set max should be no rest here ah.
I really need some cuffs. Those are more of a grip exercise than anything. So one day I'll do just single arm tricep push downs and that'll be my only tricep exercise of the day just because my second push day, I do a lot of pushing movements. I have a, a shoulder press on that day plus all my chest stuff. This push day, I do two tricep exercises, these push downs, dual arm, and then jam press. Oh. oh, that was heavy. I think I gotta lower the weight even more. We'll do 32.5. The last rep I still probably lean forward a bit too much, but I think it was better. All right, just one set here on the jam. Yeah, two of my friends are watching me as I'm recording this, so it's, it's sort of awkward. Holy crap, that's high. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yo, you mind? You mind? I think it's, it's a little too high. Do you mind? Uh... Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, problem solved. All right, take two. Yeah, I was, I was knocking that rep. Let's get a quick physique check here. There's no one in the locker room, which is good. Oh, now there's someone. Do you mind if I record here? Awesome, thank you, man, I appreciate it. You can, you can walk in if you want. Ty is making an appearance in the pump check. No push-ups were done or bicep curls in no. preparation for the pump. Do you want to hold the mic? Holy shit, dude. I lost a lot of fat here. I was gonna say, like, I can definitely tell, like, yeah, your, like, lot, your midsection, midsection, yeah. Dude, your side chest is actually crazy. Dude, my chest actually, it's pumped as fuck right now. Dude, I can, holy, holy fuck. It's really pumped. You have the stretch marks on the side, dude, dude, that's dope. Yeah, dude, my mom hates it. My mom always tells me, she always says, Max, when I was pregnant, my stretch mark, I'm like, mom, I'm not fucking pregnant. Mom, I'm not fucking pregnant. <laughs> holy shit, dude, the back is still looking crazy. Uh, let's down a protein shake and get out of here.
And that is it for the workout. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. Recording in the gym, kind of vlog style, mic'd up gym session. I thought it'd be a little bit more awkward, to be honest, but it, it went perfectly fine. Um, but a lot of you guys wanted to know where I've been and what happened. And, you know, pretty much, first, first things first, I got sick. Uh, I think the day after day six that rest day uh, i got pretty sick uh, and i think the next day that push day i didn't even go to the gym uh, and then the day after i just kind of skipped that push workout and i did legs um and legs uh, I, I ended up wearing a mask to the gym. I wasn't like super sick. It was probably just a cold that I was getting over. Uh, and oh my God, that mask in the gym was actually terrible. Um, it was one of the worst workouts of my life. Uh, and so I just, I didn't have any energy to post. Um, so I just didn't feel like posting. Uh, and then I, I kind of realized, number one, if I kept posting every day, I just wouldn't have enough time to do anything else, right? It's not like these videos take super long to edit, right? But I still have to go home. I have to send all the clips to my computer. I have to trim them down. I have to edit, you know, the sets and reps on... Uh, each exercise I put the clips together I you know make the media file I upload it I put it on YouTube right I'm not complaining it's just you know it's time consuming so and if I do that I won't have any time to make YouTube shorts TikToks Instagram posts and other kind of content that you guys want to see so I kind of I kind of thought number one it would just kind of get a little bit repetitive so I didn't want to do it every single day um, but I'll probably still end up making me if you guys like these these vlogs these mic'd up sessions maybe I'll do that uh, instead of the voiceover or you know maybe I'll do a mix a combination who knows once a week something like that uh, but yeah as you can see it is 5:21 uh, but wait Max you forgot your phone didn't you now oh you know you must have left it in the car Max right you must have left it in the car wrong. Now this is the YouTube paradox. This is what YouTubers don't tell you. That 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 workout that you just saw, I recorded five days ago, or six days ago. Yeah. So uh, it was not a push day today. It was a pull day. And you guys are whoa 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 whoa. What's going on here? That workout was actually from my full day of eating, and I was complaining, not complaining, I was contemplating whether or not I should make a full day of eating plus a gym vlog, or I should make them two separate videos, uh, and originally it was just going to be one big video with my full day of eating and my gym workout, but it, it ended up being like 30 minutes long, and I was like, ah, I'll probably just split it up, so... This morning, the car ride this morning where I talked about genetics, yeah, that, that was not before the workout. This was on Saturday, January 27th, and the workout was from Sunday, January 21st when I recorded my full day of eating. And I just said, you know what, I'll just pretend that I'm going for a push session because no one will know. Uh, and yeah, that's what YouTubers tell you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm exposing myself, I guess, for fraud. Uh, so today was not a push day. Today was a pull day. It was a good workout session. As you can see, I'm wearing, where is it? White shorts. I'm wearing white shorts. So I'm not in the black, uh, the black shorts like I was in the video. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, as I said, I just, I thought, you know, in, in order to keep it as, as less confusing as possible, I'll just pretend like I'm going in for a push session and then I'll throw the workout in. So no, I did not, I did not forget my phone today. I actually had music, although last Sunday, obviously, I forgot my phone. But today was just a normal workout that I recorded. So this this car vlog is, you know, multiple days after that workout you just saw. But anyway, yeah, um, I guess let's just get home and get on with the rest of the day because there is not much left to do here in this parking lot. But uh, I think it's funny because obviously the YouTube videos you see, you know, from any YouTuber, you know, the, the edits and the post-production is, is just very easy to fool people, which is kind of funny. Um, because, I mean, let's be honest, you guys thought that, that that beginning of the video was before my push day where I was like, oh, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to be awkward. You know, I, I had already recorded the workout. I knew I know it wasn't awkward because I had already recorded it. So, uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. And also... What I wanted to talk about was when I recorded my full day of eating, uh, not my full day of eating, my, my day in the life video when I was in college, uh, it was actually a week in the life. It was not a day in the life video. I actually had recorded all of those clips in like a seven day time span. And I, I, I think I said to the camera that I was planning a huge day where I, I got a haircut. I, you know, I went to play soccer with my friends. I went grocery shopping. I, uh, what else did I do? I cleaned my room. I, I did work. I went to school. I did all this shit. 
And I was like, oh yeah, day in the life, this is my day. No, that was not my day in the life. That was a fucking month in the life because I gathered those clips for literally like eight days and I just put them all together in one day. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's the YouTuber paradox is that it looks like it's all happening in one day, but it's not. But yeah, I guess uh, I'm exposing myself now so that I can, uh, I can come clean. But yeah, I guess uh, that, is, that is it for the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout. Hopefully you guys liked the, uh, the mic'd up session. If you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, and, uh, before you go, make sure you look at the pin comment with the free creatine deal because that is happening again. Probably, when am I going to upload this? The 28th? What's today? The 27th or the 26th? Today's the 27th. So seeing as I already have the workout already recorded and, and edited, I'll probably just throw these in the beginning and, and upload this tomorrow on the 28th. So you're seeing this tomorrow. The workout was from last Sunday. You know, it's a mess of a video, but that's what happens, right? But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, there's some football games on today. Well, as you're seeing this, there's some football games on. So if you guys are into football, I hope you enjoy that. And I will see you guys soon.